Back again on the Sports Zone. I am Mike Aglioloro. Never too early to start thinking about fantasy football. That's what I've been saying for the last week. We looked at the rookie running backs and wide receivers who are going to have an impact and guys you should remember come fantasy draft day, whether you're in one-year leagues or dynasty leagues. And today we're going to look at the tight end position, which is a position, admittedly, I don't really refer to that much. If you've ever seen my sit em in years past, I never really focus on tight ends, and that might change this year for no other reason than the continued growing importance of the tight end in today's game with the advent and continued use of the two tight end sets. So with that, we're going to look at some rookie names to remember when you sit down a draft day, like I said, for one-year leagues and dynasty leagues as well. Maybe you got stuck with Tony Gonzalez last year and couldn't replace him. Maybe you're coming into this season with Antonio Gates or Jason Witten, and, you know, they're getting up there in years. Maybe you're starting to think about replacing them. The first one we're going to look at was the number 10 pick in this year's draft by the Detroit Lions out of the University of North Carolina, Eric Ebron, the unanimous best overall tight end in this year's draft. And he goes to an offense that has the best wide receiver in football, Calvin Johnson, getting his passes from Matthew Stafford, and he does have Golden Tate, the other wide receiver. So he's going to be able to ease in, but this continues the Lions' overall theme of trying to put more weapons and take some of the pressure off of Calvin Johnson. I personally am looking to target him, whether I'm in a one-year league or a dynasty league, because he's someone who's going to have a big role in that offense for years to come. The next tight end we're going to look at from the University of Texas Tech going to the New York Jets. Jason Morrow, if Ebron was the best overall tight end in this year's class, Amaro was considered the best pure pass-catching tight end in this year's draft class. And he goes to a team that sorely needs weapons. As much as Jeff Cumberland had a decent season at the tight end position, he's not an elite pass-catching tight end that Jason Morrow could be. And the Jets really haven't had that since Dustin Keller floundered a couple years ago. So putting that next to Eric Decker and, you know, either Jeremy Curley or Stephen Hill, whoever winds up emerging there, is going to wind up helping out Geno Smith or Michael Vick, whoever winds up starting there. Next tight end we're going to look at going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers out of the University of Washington, the big 6'5", Austin Seferin Jenkins, going to an offense that already had Vinnie Jackson and took Mike Evans earlier in the draft. It's basically been said by everyone they got a bunch of basketball players as their uh, wide receiving core. And for Josh McCown or Mike Lennon, this is a good thing. McCown had a great season last year filling in for Jake Cutler, largely in thanks to the Chicago receiving core of Brandon Marshall, Alshon Jeffrey, and Martellus Bennett at tight end. So you know there's a chance he's able to create the same type of thing this year. Mike Lennon had a good season last year with a substandard receiving core. Whichever one of those two gets to throw the ball, I look for Seferin Jenkins to be a big part of this offense. Maybe not in the early stages, but definitely as the season progresses. So he's a name to remember. And the last name to keep an eye on from this year's draft class, taken in the third round by the Houston Texans out of Iowa, C.J. Fedorowicz. Now he's known more for his pass blocking skills like Jake Dixon said in his tight end preview, which he did before the NFL draft. But he's a guy who I think can definitely grow as a pass catcher, as Dixon said. Dixon actually compared him to Jason Witten. And if he's able to turn into Jason Witten, that'll definitely be something for him to aspire to. And going into an offense that has Andre Johnson and DeAndre Hopkins at the wide receiver positions, Fedora, which is going to be able to be eased in there. And I definitely think he's more talented than Garrett Graham, the incumbent starter. So I look for him to definitely take over that position in the second half. So the four tight ends to keep an eye on, like I said, Eric Ebron going to Detroit, Jay Samaro going to the New York Jets, Austin Seferin Jenkins, the 6'5 tight end, going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and C.J. Fedorowicz going to the Houston Texans. Check out everything else we got now on This Is Sports Zone from guys like Tom Lembo, Jay Rovsky, Jake Dixon, Dave Tice, George Murphy, and Aaron Harasme. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at We Are Sports Zone. Vote on all the polls we got up now. Send us any questions and comments you may have. Thanks everyone for watching. For This Is Sports Zone, I am Mike Aglioloro, and we will see you next time, folks.